she would travel like that anyway because she's going to have to do all that. That's going to be a, a Yeah, task. yeah. Yeah, she said she could take the machine with her, but I don't, I don't know. You, well, you said what? They call you a what? Call me a nigga. I said, I know you can. Yeah, we bro, won't call you that poppy. I said, show you one. <laughs> I said, I can tell what you're saying by your body <laughs> language. Mom. Don't think and I'm if they it. laugh, they say they must start laughing. They talking about you. Get on the road. You go put some Pittsburgh's clothes and take a heavy check. I said, check. I did take a heavy check. Yeah, because yeah, they definitely said the temper's going to drop once you get up in the mountains. It's going to be dropping here, too. Yeah. yeah. I said, I got, I got a check. And never did. She said, but well, here, I want you to take it. I said, okay. I got everything, but you know my sign is be acting up this time with my ex. Let me get up and go in. I knew I was going to make something out there. Always. <laughs> no. no. Hey, Ma. But it's all good. Oh, I'm stuck. Then to the humble house. Yeah, we stretching out our legs. Because <laughs> we've been sick in the car. Oh, hey, sick. We was trying to eat the house. Good morning, cousin. It's Saturday and we're in Pittsburgh. Yes, we got here about nine o'clock last night. We didn't leave Philly till three. Full circle moment, a moment of gratitude. Thank you, Jesus. I'm really blessed. I have family that loves me. I have a mama dad that loves me. I have people who love me. That is a blessing. I thank God for parents who protected me. I thank God for people who genuinely love me just me being me nothing i got nothing i could do they just love me we was coming up here through the mountains and we was jamming out to music and cutting up and all this other stuff and it was just being present and i could have like of course pulled my camera out but you know sometimes you just you just really want to be present you just want to be present in that moment so i'm here and i'm loved and thank god for that Hey cousin, today is October 4th. The Art of Creation has been in business for seven years. Gratitude is what my heart holds. Most businesses don't make it their first year. Certain industries, for example, the restaurant industry, you really don't start making a profit between two to three years. Five years is when you really should hit your peak uh, of business. I became a graphic designer, and I'm sorry if, if my thoughts, my sentiments are all, all over the place. I became a graphic designer before graphic designers were the cool kids. Like it or not, the reality of the situation is the graphic design industry is now flooded with black 
graphic designers, whether it's men, black men, or black women, we're just not the majority. We are definitely the minority. We have to work harder. And let the truth be told until COVID, until the rest of the world got what we've been throwing out for years, that creativity is so important. Creativity will take you to the next level. Creativity is the stuff that dreams are made out of. Creativity is a skill. It has to be practiced. It has to be used. It has to be learned. And you can have, be blessed with creativity, right? I'm blessed with creativity, but I still have to do the research. I still have to see what the brand trends are, what the color trends are. And it's, it's a whole lot of, whole lot of. And graphic designers, we sacrifice a lot because ultimately, I can sit up here and design something for you and it could be wonderful to me but when I send you your deliverables it's like mm, it's okay back to the drawing board you need to go because I'm really not feeling it so even when we create we have to love it to know that you'll love it and it's almost bittersweet when we're done with a project because it's like oh you know it's almost like a wedding do all this work right all this preparation and all this everything for this one day and then it's over and it's exactly like that when I create something for a client you know whether it's signage merchandise websites logo I put all this energy and I prep and I feel it and I, I put time into it and then when it's done it's done I thank God for my clients who most of them are returning clients long-term clients that is a blessing that's what graphic designers want I, uh, I, I, I always say I don't, I'm, my goal as a graphic designer never has been quantity, it's always been quality. And I have some stellar clients. I thank you guys for allowing me to be a part of your legacy, a part of your dreams, to show the world how you feel about what you love through what I love. I started art creation with nothing. I started art creation with literally, I had a computer. When I moved into my uh, place at the time, I didn't, I didn't have any furniture. I mean, thank God for my parents. My mom and dad came up literally the next weekend and just spoiled me rotten. But I took a leap of faith. I did not know what I was doing. But I was consistent. I was consistent, consistent, consistent. I always tell people, whatever your passion is, if you're trying to find it, what are you doing on a consistent basis that you're doing for free? That is your passion. Whatever you feel, that is your passion. Follow it. Trust your gut. You can do this. I've been doing this for seven years. Wow, seven years! I've been a graphic designer with their own business. God is good. All the time. And all the time. Say what? God is good. I love y'all.